I'm giving up this whole life on me. Call it out like a fan. Stood up at my time. Till the rubber leaves the road. He said, Don't lie, so I made the truth. This body is yours. This 
this body is yours and mine. Well, hold on, my darling. The view outside this window is making me feel It's just um. Now your mess is yeah. mine. Be on my side tonight. You're the reason that I feel so strong. The reason that I'm hanging on. We're officially on a, a rest day based in Namchi Bazaar. Some people on their rest day do a walk to Everest View Hotel. We're doing quite a big loop from Everest View Hotel through. Kumjung, a shepherd village, through Kunde, and then back down to Namchi. So it's already a big, quite a big day. Um, here we've seen on the map, there's a, a point called Hillary Lookout. Our guide just said, no, it's too far. Um, Hugh said, well, you can sit in the village at the bottom and Zoe and I will go up to the top. I think he thinks she was mad. Everest. Shadows settle on the place that you left. Our minds are troubled by the emptiness. Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time. From the perfect start to the finish line. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong Just 
We arrived here in gorgeous sunshine and we had plans of doing an acclimatization walk up one of the one of the surrounding hills here. But just as we're about to head off for that walk, it dumped snow. It's just incredible. Day seven now of our Gokyo and Everest base camp circuit. Real sense now of heading into the mountains. Incredible views of uh, Tom Circle, Contega, Choyoyu, which is the sixth highest mountain in the world. Because most of us are bitter over someone setting fire to our insides for fun. I want to be in So here we are about to climb Gokyo Ri, which is behind me here. Uh, we're currently at around 4,700 meters. Uh, Gokyo Ri is 5,340, so hopefully clear views at the top. It's currently uh, sometime just before six. Not at last for a more beautiful day. Two and a bit hours later, made it to the top of Gokyo Ri. And from here, incredible views of Everest, tallest mountain in the world, obviously. Uh, we got Lotse, fourth highest, Makalu, fifth highest, and Chohoyu, um, which is the sixth highest mountain in the world. So it's great to stand here at this vantage point and see all of them.
So we've now left Gokyo, we're heading to uh, this small town, Takyak. We're going to be crossing the Nozuba Glacier, which is just incredible. You can hear it constantly moving, grinding, groaning. Um, there's the constant sound of rocks falling down. You don't know where they are because this thing is this thing is vast. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat. Welcome to the bustling metropolis of Bagna. So it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the reason we're heading off so early today is because we're going to do the Chola Pass, which takes us up to 5,420 meters. This will be the highest that we've been so far on this trip. It'll be pretty steady marching this What we have ahead of us, all uphill, 5,400 meters. I want to go to Bali. at the top of Chola Pass, which I will lie to you, is pretty tough. There's a great glacier behind us on the other side of the path. It's so this is the other side of the Chola Pass. And this is what walking along the glacier feels like. Deep in my bones, straight from inside. I Yes, well done. <laughs> Nailed it. So today is base camp day, but first we've got a two, two, two and a half hour trek to a place called Gorak Shep, you know, which is 5,160 metres above sea level and that's the, that's the last stop before base camp.
the start. Unfortunately, Zoe's condition took a turn for the worst today on the hike from the Butcher to Greg Ship. Uh, so she's stayed at Greg Ship for the afternoon to recover. Uh, well, now on, my guide and myself make the, the final journey to base camp. Everest Base Camp. Just had a chat to a lovely Romanian who's immigrated to America. To Everest or Lotse? Everest. Everest, oh wonderful. He's 65 years old. Uh, and this will be his seventh summit, climbing all the tallest peaks on all the continents. What a way to finish with Everest. Good luck to him. Every snow. Awesome. camp two days ago and they're going again so that I can come too. Yay!
affectionately known as the Icebox. Another big day of trekking today yeah. as we attempt the Kong Ma La Pass. Zoe uh, hasn't been able to make the the trip today. She hasn't been feeling well the last three or four days, so she's made the wise decision to head straight down the valley to Dingboche with our porter, Ramkazi. Afternoon, John Jam in Nepal. Means to continue. Sometimes you want to jump jump, sometimes you don't want to jump jump. It's so quiet. Not a single person up here. Where are we heading now? Well, we are halfway to So it's up that big yeah. scree slope there. Yeah. Oh yeah. The final push after what I thought was the final push. You have 50% oxygen. 5,500 meters. And I'm feeling all that 50% that I'm missing right now. It feels like we're getting close now. But I'm looking forward to a chocolate bar. It's one of the beautiful sights. No, thank you. I have a tweak.
so Zoe, turns out that you were quite sick um, when we got to Zhongla over the Trela Pass, all the way to Gorek Shep. Um, you couldn't come to Everspace Camp the first morning, but you did on the third morning. Um, we weren't sure if it was food poisoning or if it was mild altitude sickness. Why were you sick for this part of our journey through Nepal? Well. Now that you are out of my life, I'm so much better You thought that I'd be weak without you, but I'm stronger You thought I wouldn't grow without you, now I'm wiser You thought that I'd be sad without you, I love harder I'm a survivor, I'm gonna keep her Why were you sick for this part of our journey through Nepal? Well, according to uh, this little stick here and this little guide here, I'm actually pregnant. <laughs> so uh, this little jelly baby, we don't actually know how how big he or she is, has uh, been to base camp. <laughs> has gone over Cholar Pass, been to five and a half thousand metres a couple of times, um, has caused me to vomit up some dal bash. There you go. So you've been pregnant all this time? I've actually been pregnant the whole time we were in Nepal and had no idea. Uh, which is interesting because the doctor had said to us, now don't try and get pregnant while you're going to be at altitude or while you're taking Diamox. So, have been at altitude and have been taking Diamox. So sorry, jelly baby. Apologies. I'll be better from now on. Hello, little jelly baby. Um, sorry for uh, beating you up a bit over the last couple of weeks and depriving you of about 50% of what would be considered standard oxygen for us down in Melbourne, Australia. Don't climb that Everest. It's dangerous. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say right now. <laughs> but you can go to base camp again. That'll be fun. Thank your father. He loves altitude.
moving traffic, there's no issue for this chap. It's gonna be me in eight months' time. <laughs>